Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Dr. Rule Show. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule, and today, Guardian Angels. Roll tape. Now, let's meet Jessica Lynn Andrews of Virginia Beach, Virginia, who has seen a Guardian Angel. Roll tape. Well, it was Virginia, but I was saying, I'm lying right here, and, um... She is right here in front of me. Now that's Jessica's story. Let's hear what her mom has to say. Um, it's really strange. It's because she never seen any pictures of her. I, I never knew the way, so I couldn't talk to her about it. And it was like, when she said I saw her, I believed her because she was so convincing, and it was, but I, I couldn't figure out how she saw her. She told me that she, she was an angel, and she came, and she spoke to me last night. Very fascinating. This shows that the story does have a high degree of credibility because neither the mother nor the daughter had ever seen a photo of the great-grandmother or had any idea what she looked like. A very intriguing case. Now let's hear Jessica's description of what she saw. She had grayish white hair. She had blue eyes. Her skin was wrinkled, but some of her face was not. She was wearing a white gown, but I couldn't see her feet. She said, I am a great grandma, Falco. Um, I've been watching over you for a while. Um, you'll be fine um, for a while. Well, I never knew her when I was growing up. It made me feel like, well, why did she come and visit my daughter? In answering the mother's question, I think it should be pointed out that guardian angels seem to predominantly visit children rather than adults. For example, there's a brand new book out, Angels Over Their Shoulders, by Brad and Sherry Hanson Steiger, documenting a multitude of such cases where guardian angels visit children rather than adults. So, for some reason, they prefer to stick to the young. Perhaps they feel the young are more receptive to the idea of an, a material entity visiting them and communicating with them. Now, the next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Now, a question needs to be asked. Why do guardian angels appear before some individuals or help some individuals, but not others? We cannot answer that, but can only say that some of these cases look very convincing indeed. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes.